All right, my friends, it is time for the next unboxing, unveiling sneak peek of this month's JDM Bento Box subscription. This is the final box of the year. Thank you guys so much for an amazing year. This is a super sick box. So if you are ready to geek out and play with all the good stuff in this month's box, let's go. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. What a oh, yeah. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. All right, guys, some breaking news. What's in this week at the Hook of Shock? What a beautiful post on there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that good on that. That's a nice fish. Boom! <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with the Hook of Tackle, the Tackle Taku on Instagram, being joined by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Jeff, what's up? Usually CJ is sitting in on mm -hmm, these, but mm -hmm. it's good to see you. And my buddy Griff, Griff, what's up? All right, we are doing the official sneak peek unveiling of this month's JDM Bento box. Now, this is our subscription box that each month we do a subscription. Uh, that's basically a hundred dollar box. You get a hundred dollars worth of tackle each month There is a star of the show, which is a limited edition run mega bass ito vision 110 and pop max So even if you don't like the tackle that I've prepared for you, which I would be so offended But even if you don't you're gonna get a super dope uh, very limited uh, 110 and pop max made specifically for our bento box subscription now if you are a subscriber thank you guys very much it's been an amazing year uh, i tried to finish the year with a bang i got a little surprise in there for you guys as well if you're not a subscriber we will open up subscription spots uh, at the end of this month so we start fresh every january uh, with a full load of subscribers and anybody who falls off through the course of the year we just let those spaces stay vacant and then we refill them in january so if you have been dying to get on this program which i know a lot of you guys have stay tuned keep your eyes on our instagram pages because we will be promoting it quite a bit uh when those spots open ready to dive in jeff mm -hmm. okay here we go so as always the last box i tried to put a couple extra goodies just as a way of saying thank you on behalf of me. So I know that most boxes are a $100 box, $100 value. This one, all said and done, is more like a $150 value. So I went a little bit overboard, but I really wanted you guys to have some of these things. So I'm just gonna open it the way you guys would open it. Just a little asterisk. This is your warning. If you don't wanna know what's inside this box, if you're saving it for Christmas or something like that, then this is your chance to tune off, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, otherwise, here we go. Okay, first item in the box is a new soft plastic bait from Issei. This is the Issei Gil Gil. Now, this is a bait that a lot of us around here have been excited for. Uh, if you guys watch uh, anything around here, you know like Griff and Louise, those guys are big like hover shotters, right? They always talk about it. And this is a bait that when it was unveiled earlier this year was designed to be a hover shot bait. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do with this, okay? So you will see it's a very unique shape. It almost looks like a bluegill kind of sucking on a bluegill, mm. right? Now, Issei has two baits. They have a liar flat minnow, and then they have this where the basically the tech is to be a very thin bait. And the idea is with very little movement, that thin plastic has a lot of life, a lot of movement, and this gives you a very natural bluegill profile. Now. You can drop shot this, you can rig it weedless, you can throw it weightless, you can fish it on a real light like split shot rig, but it is designed as a hover shot bait. Now you can also just remove this front piece. So if you wanted to, let's say, just cut this front bluegill off and just have this back bluegill and just kind of nose hook that so you have one little tiny fish looking thing, you could very easily do that. And you've got this amazing lifelike thing that you could put on a little ball head you could drop shot whatever you want but 
it is designed as a cover shot bait. Now inside, there are little eye pieces as well. So if you wanted to really make it super lifelike, you could come down in here and take these eyes out. Here, let's just take the whole thing out, Jeff. So technically, you could put four eyes on it, mm. right? I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put that top one just. That way we've just got the one eye on there. But I just wanted to show you very quickly, if you are gonna hover shot this, I wanted to show you how to rig it. Obviously, if you're gonna rig this weedless, you guys can figure this out on your own. If you are going to use the hover shot, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a size three hover shot. You could probably get away with the two as well, but the three seems to fit it perfect. And then some type of nail weight. I like this adjust nail from Ryugi. Uh, just whatever weighting system you need. But the way you rig this, there's a very specific spot you want to make sure this hook goes through. And I'll show it to you. Let me get this out. Okay, let's rig, let's rig together. So there are some gill plates here on the bait. You can see the little tiny gill markings. You want to use that gill plate marking as your point of entry for your hooks. So you're going to go straight in there and you're going to thread it on. And it's gonna pop out basically right about the joint. So if you did it the way I just said, you should have a very straight gill on the front. And then this back piece here is basically flat. So any shaking you do, this is just gonna have so much life to it, right? Now, right in the middle right there is where you can insert your nail weight. So you could just stick your nail weight right there in the front of the bait. And then it'll be weighted to whatever you need course you could throw it weightless like this if you want to fish it high on the surface but there you go i think you guys will catch a lot of fish on it i know it's kind of a finessey little bait uh, but what you're going to see in this box is that we kind of covered everything some finesse some power fishing some in between okay so there you go bait number one isay gilgil all right bait number two is from adusta we have the adusta various shad now i know what you're thinking Great, a paddle tail, super. One more paddle tail, right? I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and I'm gonna come back, okay? Stay tuned, you're gonna like it. Mm. Bait number three, our best selling soft plastic bait and the head you need to use it. The, from Duo Realis, this is the Duo BR Head and BR Fish. Now this is a combo that is literally just taken the world by storm. And essentially what it is, is it's a new technique that has become super popular. It's actually a saltwater technique, but it's a technique that a lot of live scopers are using in place of that mid stroll. Now, you don't have to be a live scoper. I know there's a lot of people that don't use it, won't use it, whatever. Even from shore, we catch fish on this thing. So once you understand how it works, it's a very easy technique to use. Uh, we've shot a ton of videos on this thing showing it, but just in case you guys need help, there's directions on the back of the bait uh, where you can rig it two different ways. So all these BR fish are designed to be uh, flat on one side and round on the other side. If you rig it round side down, it's gonna basically just track straight, okay? If you rig it flat side down on this head that has these special wings on the side, then what you can do is you can snap it and work it a lot like a jerk bait, and the bait is going to glide left to right on you, okay? So these are available in a bunch of different colors. I tried to put some of my favorite colors in the box for you guys. Heads are available in a bunch of different head sizes, all the way from three gram on the lightest to 14 on the heaviest. 12 is my favorite size. Uh, I like the nine and the 12. 12 is essentially uh, kind of in between a three eighths and a half. It's kind of like the perfect normal bass fishing size. Uh, if you're fishing super skinny water, you could go down to the nine gram or the seven gram. Uh, 14 gram would be great for deep water, but I know you guys will catch a ton of fish on it no matter what. Pond fishing, shore fishing, river, lake, boat. There you go, from Duo. All right, next bait in the box is a new chatterbait concept from Adusta, and this is gonna tie our paddle tail back in. This is the Adusta Various Chatter. Okay, so as you guys know, Z-Man, basically has a lockdown on chatterbait style baits here in the US with their patent. So there are a lot of really interesting, amazing 
chatterbaits that exist in Japan that we don't get to see. And this is one of the cooler ones that has come out and I want you guys to get your hands on it. So you will see that in each package, there is the bait, of course, the, the actual uh, chatterbait, the various chatter. And then there are two different trailers, okay? So you have a uh, various shad down there that's gonna have the paddle tail and then you have the uh, spike that's gonna have just the straight tail. So you're gonna get two different trailers that are designed for this chatterbait to give you two different actions. Now, what is different about this Adusta bait? Let me take it out and I will show you. This is a pretty cool package. I dig that they get the different baits, the different blades. Okay, so as we open, this is how the bait's going to come. So uh, like any premium, you know, vibrating jig, chatterbait, whatever you want to call it, uh, you've got a super sick hook. you got a big, strong hook there. You have a hand-tied skirt. You've got the wire bait keeper. Uh, there's a place on the head if you wanted to add extra weight to make it super heavy, you could. Now, what makes this bait different is that the blade is adjustable. So you will see that it comes with one blade and then there's a, a different package, like a bigger piece that you can add. Now these kind of snap on and off. So you could take this top piece and you can unsnap it off if you want. And then you can add the other piece on. So you can, you basically, you can get two different chatterbaits in one. So it comes with what they're calling the small blade. So the small blade is gonna be ideal for higher in the water column. So if you wanna keep the bait just under the surface or above weeds, that kind of stuff, then use the blade that comes on it. If you wanted to go deeper and track in deeper depth, then just swap this top part right here for this bigger one, attach that and just snaps on, and now you've got one that tracks a little bit deeper down below and it will maintain depth a little bit different for you. So uh, pretty cool, two different blades that come on it. Then you also have the two different trailers. So when you're choosing your trailer, the Shad's gonna be more of an all around trailer and then the spike is gonna be a little bit tighter motion, right? So you just have two different trailers to choose from. And then of course, I added the extra bag of trailers. So that was the point of those trailers. So if you're tearing up trailers, don't worry about it. I put a whole extra bag in there uh, to match the bait. But all of these are cut specifically so that they fit super flush to that bait. So they're gonna sit on there nice and flush. So I'll just rig one for you, just in case any of you are new to this. You wanna rig this just like this. There are grooves on the top. Now you don't have to use this paddle tail as a trailer. You could certainly fish it just as a regular paddle tail if you wanted. And it has, you know, the hook keeper on the bottom, everything that you would need. Uh, but it's cupped head design is designed, you can see, to fit super flush to that bait, right? So it's, it's cut in a perfect way to where it sits right on that skirt. So it sits nice and flush. It's not gonna move around. It just keeps a really nice natural profile and you get a great movement out of it. So I think you guys will have fun. Just try something different, right? Which is all this is. Uh, so excited to get this for you and a really cool head design too. Great job, Adusta. So there you go, the various chatter and shad available uh, in this box only. All right, still reaching. One of our favorite square bills of the year, Edeps Evoke, okay? So you are gonna get either a 1.2, a 1.8, or a 2.0, depending on which box you get. Uh, as the baits go up in number, they're, they're gonna go up slightly in size and slightly in depth. Okay, so the 1.2 is designed to go 1.2 meters, the 1.8, 1.8 meters, 2.0, 2.0 meters, okay? So you're gonna have some different options. I chose a bunch of really great colors. They're pretty much all good colors that they make in this. But what we love about Evokes is number one, the hardware is good to go right out of the box. So this is a Kenta Kimura design and he's a Ryugi guy. I guess is the way to put it, Ryugi Pro. Uh, all of his baits are going to have Ryugi trebles right out of the box. So the hooks are good to go right out of the box. The Evoke was built to mimic a balsa crankbait. So it's incredibly buoyant. Uh, each one 
runs perfectly true, but it's basically like a four wheel drive of crankbaits is how we always describe it. You can bang it around any rocks, any wood, any weeds. I literally look for lay downs or any big wood or trees to run this thing through and just bang it around everything. And somehow, I think it's magic, it just comes right through without snagging. It's crazy what you can throw six hooks through and not snag when you can't even reach in the damn tackle box and pull one out without sticking yourself in the hand, right? So uh, it's an incredible bait. If you guys don't have them in the arsenal, enjoy, okay? This would be a great introduction for you. If you guys have them in the arsenal, I hope I sent you a color that gets to add uh, to your lineup so you can enjoy it. So uh, there you go. The Depths Evoke is in everybody's box. <clears throat> All right. We were going to stop there, which would have still put us about $120 uh, by the time we get to the 110 Pot Max. But I wanted you guys to be the first to get your hands on one of two brand new colors in my favorite deep diving crankbait. So I know some of you guys love square bills. Some of you guys are in to deep diving. So here you go. This is the official release. You guys are gonna be the first ones to have your hands on them. You're gonna get one of two colors of the Blitz Magnum EXDR in the first ever crawl patterns, which is pretty sick, okay? So we've been cranking out some shad colors and obviously crawl colors were missing. I don't know why we didn't have crawl colors, but we do now. We made two very, very sick crawl patterns. This first one is called Knockout Crawl. We essentially took kind of like olive crawl from evergreen and we tweaked it a little bit so uh the bottom is going to be kind of a reddish to purple that's going to fade to a green pumpkin and then we put copper and purple flake in it so it's kind of like fred in a beaver with a little bit of a red bottom it's a super dirty color it looks amazing you guys are going to catch a ton of fish on it. so that's color option number one that you guys might get color option number two would be Ghost Craw, which is another kind of transparent green pumpkin with a purple and orange belly, a little clear on the sides. So you're gonna get one of those two colors, but enjoy them. Now, if you guys are fishing offshore, <clears throat> this is gonna be a no-brainer for you. If you guys are fishing from shore or tighter quarters, this is a bait that I think you guys can really be effective with if you make shorter casts and treat it more like a jig. It's gonna dive very vertical. You can really just kind of bang it around. I fish this all the time, short distance cast. I use my shad glide rod like my Mark 56. This is gonna dive at a vertical angle. So even in shallow water, you can tap, it'll float up. You just kind of bang it around and you're getting a little different action than what the fish are used to seeing with the jig, a worm, something like that. Uh, incredibly effective. So enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of the new crawl patterns. That is the brand new custom colors. First ones to get them, OSP Blitz Magnum EXDR. All right, and then finally the star of the show. <clears throat> Every year we do 110s and pop maxes and we lay out the whole year and we look at the whole season. We try to do some really natural colors. We try to do some subtle colors. We try to do some brights. We try to at least have like a gill, a shad, a per like we try to mix it up. So there's a variety, so at the end of the year, you can lay all the colors out and go, man, that, that's a dope 12-month offering, right? So we're kind of just bringing everything back in full circle with what I feel is one of the more natural colors that still has some fun, right? So this is kind of like, you know, all business, but a little party, right? There you go. Signal Impact is this month's color and we'll take it out of the box let's let's just do this the right way so this is a <clears throat> super sick color that is basically a transparent with glitter sides okay and it's got kind of a pearl glitter belly but like a half pearl that goes to transparent sides and then the top it's kind of like an olive top that's got a little bit of pink on the hit and then you've got a little faint chartreuse on the tail. So it's got kind of all the colors that you would want in a real natural bait, but that pink from the top lets you see your bait from a distance. So you can see it 
kind of moving side to side, very similar to what you know swim baiters might use on the top of their swim baits to make sure that their bait is darting. So even though you have this supernatural bait, you can still see it if visual cues are important. If they're not, then they're just gonna see that beautiful half pearl, little chartreuse hit on the back. Super, super sick color. This is one of those that obviously you guys can collect it because it's, it's a pretty rare color. Uh, but if you use it, you're going to catch a ton of fish on it. And then there's a look at it in the Pop Max. So again, they kind of went with the half white, half chartreuse on the tail. That color shift up top. Just a nice, natural fish catching color. Really excited to get that in your hand. So there you go. Signal impact in the 110 and Pop Max. That is this month's color. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoy this month's Bento. And again, if you guys have been subscribing, guys, thank you so much for the business. If you're not a subscriber and you watch these videos, hopefully by going through these baits, uh, it gives something, I don't know, maybe shed some light on some new products that you're not using. Uh, but if you ever have any question on anything that we cover, drop it down below and I will get answers for you. And again, if you would like to be a subscriber, we are gonna be opening spots at the end of this month for the box that starts January 2024. Can't believe it's already been a year. Guys, thank you again on behalf of myself, Jeff, and Griffin, everybody here at the Hookup Tackle, guys. Thank you for your business. Thank you for being a subscriber. We look forward to an amazing 2024. I think you guys are gonna be shocked with some things that are coming. So uh, we will see you again next month on box number one. Peace, my friends. Have a great day. See ya.